Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so great to be back. I'm so happy um, to come back to my channel, to our community. After quite a while, um, it's been about a month or so. Of course, I've been being away, seeing my family, really focus on the work aspect of things, family, kids, and all that kind of stuff. But you know what, guys? It's great to be back. Of course, I tried my best to maintain the communication with my subscribers and within the community. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot being happening in the Seiko world. And with few watches that being sort of coming to our collection, I've been posting few photos here and there. And without a shadow of doubt, today marks the first video since our channel that's uh, across the first thousand subscribers and that brings so much joy hopefully to your heart and to my heart as well because i remember clearly uh, last year 2022 you're looking at december we had about 50 subscribers and now we're not even december yet of 2023 so within 12 months um the community has grown from a 50 subscriber channel to over a thousand um of lovely passionate um committed um and absolutely passionate about what we do here. So, guys, um, all thanks to you because because without you, uh, the channel would not be in a place uh, where we are right now. So, my heart goes out to you. And being us the first video that crossed a thousand subscribers, I just want to make sure that it means something to um, to all of us. Uh, as you guys know, our channel Felix Love Watches. We talk about watches is the main uh, topic, but of course, we talk about two cents of my feelings and my opinions of how to collect the, some of the best modern classic Seiko uh, in our humble collection of the last few years and more importantly when it comes to the overall philosophy of what watches to buy how do we make choices how do we make you know we have affordable uh, segments of watches made in our collection but most importantly we have uh, you know we have certain we have scarce amount of budget and energy in life that we're trying to to excel single areas and watches in this and a hobby that we we think that will bring uh, endless amount of positive energy but at the same time it can be detrimental it can be distracting uh, it can be um, you know when it comes to consumes a whole lot of time and energy from your day-to-day -day life so I want to be there for you I want to be part of uh, the community of collecting affordable watches really not to show off to anybody else but to please our artistic minds and our um and our desire of having lovely great time pieces on our wrist and makes us feel proud every time we look at it um so today of course is really not unboxing but i because of the uniqueness of the piece and the whole packaging and the store behind it i do want to uh, replicate or mimic the unboxing experience that I had of course the watch is already on um, a beautiful um, atom strap uh, salt cloth of a uh, khaki green color it looks absolutely fantastic on the watch if you guys already seen it on my post um, but I've also kept the bracelets beautiful in the back just to show you guys what it looks like of course you guys seen plenty of the videos for this srpk 17 uh, but again i just want to bring this watch into our channel uh, because i think without a shadow of a doubt it has acquired quite a um quite a bit of attention since it was released six seven months ago and on most of the market i think it's already been selling very quickly uh not not be surprised if they sold out already in most places um, um, so we're going to talk about a little bit of that as well, but today I'm wearing uh, the beautiful SKX. This is the legendary 009, of course, the Pepsi on a beautiful um, Strap X Pro. Um, the folks at the Strap X Pro, they are absolute legends. They're in Hong Kong. They are manufactured and designed engineer uh, to a particular point that I feel very proud uh, to have them in this channel for review. Of course, we're going to talk about them straps, this beautiful um, custom made, beautifully engineered uh, Strap X Pro in a different videos. We're going to focus on all aspects of it and why I believe is probably the best uh, combo options for, especially for SKXs, of course. Um, uh, Strap Expert also sent me a couple of other variations for a couple of other uh, Seiko Legends iconic sports watches and we're going to talk about them in the future videos of course showing you guys what they can do and um, why I highly recommend them but today's highlights will be the SRPK 17 the 55 years uh, anniversary limited edition I think to 15,555 pieces 
um, since the watches came out, of course, we're going to do the unboxing. That's I'm going to talk about my stories with it. Since this watch came out about seven, six months ago, I was so surprised that Seiko, as a company, um, that they made a, a commercial decision in releasing one of the most faithful, the most faithful reissue when it comes to identical to the originals. And instead of, uh, you know, doing a, another SLA uh, reissues uh, to a point, they've chosen a, a particular model that is much more affordable. Under 500, of course, as the retail price. Uh, speak of prices, I believe you can still get them from uh, Mark at Long Island Watches. Of course, that's where uh, this particular watch uh, was purchased, um, and I was lucky. I was lucky to have uh, the watch purchased from the original user, the original purchaser. He's a legend. Actually, it's a quite a bit of story to talk about the guy because he's a, such a gentleman. The way he transacted and helped me acquire this watch, and not only was the original price, but also sharing his uh, experiences with Seiko. And he was wearing his beautiful um, 36 millimeters a Rolex Datejust um, uh, on the day. Um, when I picked this watch up uh, from his grandpa, so uh, fantastic story, fantastic collector. Uh, great to have the experience of getting this particular watch from you, and no doubt this watch will stay in my collection for the long term. And I think that was his original intent as well. But without saying, appreciate the seller. Now, a couple of things about this packaging. Um, I don't have a lot of JDM. Um, Seiko's, but judging from the experiences that I have with a limited amount of sort of unboxing experiences, it looks like a JDM. Um, but if you look at the reference number here, is SRPK17. Um, it, it's a bit confusing, right? Because when we look at you, see the watch in a minute. The watch has a made in Japan on a dial, uh, and also on the on the case back. Uh, but it's actually uh, not a, a SBSA. Um, uh, JDMs, we call the JDM of the of the Seiko Five. So this is wow, this looks just stunning. Every time when I look at it, it just attracts so much of my attention. Not only believing, of course, knowing that this is a very faithful reissue of a watch 55 years ago, but also knowing just how fantastically it has been made. Whether it comes to the overall design, the story, and finishing. Every single details about this watch is just being fantastic. Of course, uh, we have the watch here and also the bracelets. Um, just showing you guys the tag as well. So SRPK17. Uh, just let me focus on here. So 415 USD. You can still get it from Mark's Long Island, which I'm surprised because I'm assuming uh, Mark's business is probably one of the most popular when it comes to affordable watches. Not mentioned uh, Seiko, that is for sure. But if you look at guys, if you look at closely, it has made in Japan on the six o'clock, and um, and if we look at the limited edition of uh, this is the four thousand, the number four thousand one hundred and three out of the total number of fifteen thousand five hundred fifty-five. But if you look at the uh, wording just on top of it, it says. Made in Japan, so that is quite strange because most of the time, if you have a version or model number without a J in the end, it will be a watch that's such made in Malaysia, Vietnam, or China, or any other manufacturing that Seiko may have. Uh, on a global scale, of course, still have an extremely high standard, but just because the opportunity of getting uh, this particular watch from you know originally from Mark's Long Island watches, but from a local. Uh, collector, that is a that is a great buy because again, if I'm looking at buying uh, directly from Lion, uh, Long Island uh, uh, in Australia, I'll be looking paying shipping. I gotta wait for the watches and pay for the customer that kind of stuff. So it was a great deal. Uh, it was a rare opportunity to acquire locally in Australia, and I'm really glad that I pulled the trigger for this particular piece. So. As we know, from a story and design perspective, it is very faithful to the original. Um, it pretty much uh, maintained all its main characters, of course, uh, with few changes on the dial, with the wording. But holistically, um, you will not be surprised that you wouldn't be able to distinguish which is the new and which was the original if they are placed uh, again next to each other and sort of looking from the distance, you know, with that a sort of, you know, a meters away. But more importantly, the finishing on this particular watch, on this Seiko 5, just 
look at that mirror polishing. The mirror polishing is fantastic on all sides, and, and that's what I'm really surprised. I'm not sure whether because this is made in Japan or this is the higher level of the Seiko 5 manufacturing, but because you guys know, I also got a very happy again to have the Seiko 5 GMT, the orange um, color that I had received about a couple of weeks ago. Of course, now that one's actually gone back to Seiko due to the um, extreme tight of its bezel. Um, but if you look in the finishing and just how sort of when I rub my fingers against the case on the surface, this is so much more smoother compared to that one. So I have no idea whether this is in a particular higher standard of manufacturing when it comes to tolerance or polishing to other Seiko 5s. Uh, but this is this is amazing. This is why we have this watch for. It's full of story, full of character. It's faithful. It's telling you a story. You're holding part of the history. Seiko has done a fantastic job. Uh, re rather releasing a, a much higher end model of costing you thousands of dollars. They choose to do a affordable Seiko 5 having the spirit of the people. Uh, having it under 500, of course, 15,000, there are plenty for everyone to grab. But again, uh, uh, mark my words, I think this watch will do extremely well on the secondary market. And uh, not to mention, there will not be a lot of people selling it, as far as I know. And Mark's online watches will probably running out of stock pretty quickly, as far as I believe. Uh, just because simply the uh, popularity among watch collector, watch enthusiasts, and newcomers to the market. So the watch is absolutely fantastic. I love it very much. This watch means a lot to me. Of course, this is on a beautiful saw class. I'm just going to put on my wrist in a minute. Um, uh, uh, saw class drive from Atom. Uh, it really gives the watch the vintage uh, character uh, really much of a boost. Um, I think it looks the part... Of course, on a beautiful strap. But not to mention the bracelet. The bracelet, I just want to keep it as good condition as I can. Uh, very traditional. Mimic the original style of the bracelets. Of course, we know it looks very different. It is very different than most of the Seiko 5s. And that's what I really appreciate. Um, from a design language, from an engineering perspective, it looks very comfortable. I think there's been a couple comments on the other um uh, reviewers saying that due to the construction is not very flexible I, I, again I, guys you can see here but I will go through probably a detailed I'm gonna size this properly and have it on my wrist um, maybe I'll form uh, my feeling towards it when it comes to sort of you know next month or so when it comes to full review of the watch so today is really the first impression it is fantastic uh, the loom is amazing of course with this uh, Alton strap it just looks out of the world I think it looks absolutely amazing uh, for its price for its value and for what is the watch is trying to tell us as part of its Seiko's DNA so we're gonna put on the wrist I'm going to do a wrist shot. See guys, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of reviews already. Of course, this watch has been talking again uh, covered to uh, a lot in the most 6 to 7 months of since its release, but it, it, it's just amazing. This watch this watch really exceeds my um, my expectation. Guys, you know I'm a I mean my humble Seiko iconic modern Dive watches, sports watches, we use across uh, a wide variety of, you know, we're looking at MM200, Willis, Seikos, we're looking at uh, Turtles, Samurais, uh, you know, and this watch, the Seiko Fire, it brings me probably, I would say, the top three watches that I ever have in my collection. That's the amount of joy that this watch is really bringing to me. Uh, the, the case design, how true to its character, the dial, the color, Everything about this watch is truly amazing. So, and with that, this bit of dome on that on that hard X crystal, or probably under domed, I think no, it's still dome on the outside, but ever slightly, ever slightly, it's just all those details really make this watch uh, stands out uh, from the crowd. So, you know, as a as a humble Seiko collector, love my game, love my collection. You want to have pieces that are in your collection for the long term. Uh, such as the SKX, uh, such as this SRPK17, I think you will not go wrong. They truly deserve a, a position uh, in your iconic Seiko uh, collections. And doesn't matter really your collection that only has Seikos or have, you know, MM300s per se, or even go up to Grand Seikos. Of course, you love the brand, the culture, and the spirit of the brands, or even you tap into a much higher caliber watches. Watches like these is what 
wrist um, mechanical watch is all about. They are robust. They're telling us the story of being part of that spirit of, you know, it's it's able to, um, you know, give you a lot of uh, reliability when it comes to ease of service, all that kind of stuff. So I think watches like this really deserve a place in our heart. And I cannot wait for the, you know, for the next couple of weeks or more of wearing them, especially this SRPK-17 on a much regular basis. And I'll be able to really to maybe do a couple of comparison uh, with a couple other Seiko 5s uh, that I believe are part of the philosophy of why I think that Seiko has made this decision in terms of releasing it. A bit of comparison between other iconic Seiko dive watches such as, the, you know, we're looking at King Turtles, King Samurais, um, or even we can look at a couple of uh, um, historical, um, I think the best, some of the best Seiko 5 that has made in the recent years. So really looking forward to that as well. But guys, without a shadow of a doubt, all credits to you guys. I'm sharing this passion. I'm sharing this story uh, because how much this channel and you guys means to me. Uh, I cannot wait to, of course, I'm going to talk about these beautiful straps in the coming um, in the coming video as well. So please look out for that. Uh, really pleased to have um, uh, the Atom strap. And um, of course, we have the Strapex Pro. Uh, those folks are absolutely committed to do what they do. Of course, they're selling uh, their product based on their philosophy and different price tag and different market and different intention. But most importantly, uh, they are very true to their um, to their intention. And then they are bringing out the straps that uh, that absolutely solve a problem of uh, such as a collector like myself and brings and really enhance the watch. That's that's what the whole point is about. I think when I look out, um, the, the reason why I reach out to them as well and ask them to send straps to us to show on the channel is because most of the accessory videos of straps or um, or bracelets, you guys know how much a bracelet fan that I am. I purchased over $3,000 of bracelets just to uh, accommodate and enhance the collection of my, uh, of my Seikos. But more importantly, it's about whether that bracelet or that strap will do for an individual watch. Um, straps like this, they don't they don't just exist on its own. Uh, if you loosen the the watch itself, the strap will lose its value too. So really, it's about when they are designing the color, the shape, the engineering, the structure of it is what that real experiences will bring to you when you put that strap on a particular watch. Of course, I think. Uh, this Atom strap here with the traditional uh, uh, um, buckle of the 20 millimeter uh, sock cloth strap it just enhances the watch to the whole another level. So really looking forward to uh, really looking forward to bring those straps into a detailed reviews uh, for you guys as well. And without a shadow of doubt, I will see you guys very soon again. Of course, guys, uh, um, we are looking at a very busy. You know, uh, Black Friday, I think, which is um, it was yesterday. Uh, we are looking at a very Christmas uh, sort of intensified season. We're going to be able to catch up with our family, with our friends. Uh, we're going to be attempting of purchasing watches and straps that we've, you know, been looking at doing for the last maybe few months. So, regardless of what your purchase decision is, I hope you enjoy this video and, of course, stay in the long term with our community, our friends here on the channel. And no doubt, I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.